Taliban bride abduction scheme exposed by undercover journalist. When the U.S. security forces left Afghanistan in August of 2021, the Taliban took over the country, and, and the Taliban took over the country. The Taliban spokesperson uh, Zab Zabihullah Mujahid assured the international community that it would be a different government than their previous attempt to rule the country in the 1990s when girls could not attend school. Undercover journalist and filmmaker uh, Ramita Navai exposed the Taliban's empty promise. In her documentary, Afghanistan Uncovered, secretly filmed in Afghanistan's provinces, Navai investigates rumors that young women are being arrested and quote unquote disappeared and that girls are being forced into marriage with Taliban soldiers. Taliban soldiers, including those in high positions, were abducting or are abducting girls they desire without the family's consent or forced consent. She also found that many missing women have been arrested for supposed moral crimes, such as improperly covering themselves and daring to be outside without a male guardian. None of these arrests are officially recorded and women are effectively disappeared. Navai came across some Afghan women fighting back. Two of the women she interviewed were arrested soon after. Both served a three-month prison sentence and have since fled the country. So basically, um, this incredible journalist who we see pictured here in the thumbnail, uh, Ramita Navai, I have so much respect for this lady. She is next level brave. Um, she went to Afghanistan twice during the past year um, after it fell to the Taliban and recorded what she was learning there. So the first um, time she went, it was before the invasion of Ukraine. And you could, she went to different provinces, she went to different cities. And like in Kabul, you could still see murals on the city of like murals fighting for women's rights and you know progress and stuff like that and um she exposed so many different things going on it was crazy so the first thing that's happening is that women are basically getting disappeared into the taliban's prison system and we know that they this is happening under the taliban because when they took over they basically freed all prisoners and so we like we know that their cases are new um, and so women will be pulled into prison for traveling without a male relative, for example. And it starts with her going to the family of a woman that they call Miriam. And they're like, we haven't been able to find Miriam for weeks. We think that the Taliban have her. Can you please help us find her? So what this journalist does is that she gets in touch with the Taliban and says, oh, we would like to do a tour of the prison and tell us about how you're treating the prisoners and stuff. And um, they agree and say, oh, you can only tour the men's section. And they decide, okay, we're going to go in. We are going to film in secret, undercover with hidden cameras. And while we're already in the men's section, we'll just ask if we can go to the women's section and hopefully we can go find this girl. And so that's what they do. And they find her. And they start talking to these women. And most all the women that they talk to are there for, quote unquote, moral crimes. And then they find Miriam. They find Miriam and they go talk to her and they're like, they start talking to her in English so that the guards won't know what they're talking about. And she's like, you know, they've been holding us here for weeks. Like some of these girls are being tortured with tasers, all this stuff. And then the female guard comes up and is like, hey, you can't speak in English. And then she switches back to speaking in Dari and starts praising the Taliban and how good that they take care of her, that kind of thing. But now they found this girl. And they go and tell her family. Eventually, the family, like, negotiates for her release. Um, then this journalist, I can't, uh, first of all, I just need to praise the bravery of going in as a woman with a hidden camera in the heart of a Taliban prison. Like, I that, would be scared crazy. shitless. Um, yeah. She then... Uh, goes to go uncover the bride kidnapping scheme. So what what is happening is that arranged marriages are common, right? But there's a tradition and culture around it. And the 
basically under the arranged marriage culture, you know, you, this is, this is an, an arrangement between families and there's a bride price that is paid. What is happening here is that Talibs will go out into the marketplace and they'll go find a girl that they like. They, they like the look of her. They follow her home. They go see where she lives. They show up. They then go ask the family for, to marry that girl. If the family refuses, they will beat the shit out of the family and either straight up kidnap the girl right then and there. Usually a cleric is in tow to marry them on the spot or take her to get married later or force the consent of the families to do so with threatening their life. And all this without paying any bride price. And this is happening at senior levels of the Taliban, like heads of different states, like governors and stuff. And of course they deny everything, but this is a huge problem. Um, if men defend the women in their family, they get tortured. Um, when, if a woman is somehow brought back, she is saw seen as a shame to the entire village and the whole family has to leave. So it's really, really dire when the women, if they are taken by the Taliban on the, the morality crimes and they somehow manage to get out of the black hole of an unrecorded, you know, imprisonment. Um, then when they come back to their village or their area, they have to go into hiding because their neighbors will come after them straight up come after them for basically disrespecting the gerat like the honor of their entire community even if they didn't do anything wrong but it, it looks like they did something wrong so then their life is under threat just off top because of that then so then it was winter time and she had to leave because it was too, getting too dangerous and difficult to travel around the country she comes so this journalist she comes back to Afghanistan after the invasion of Ukraine. And she talks about how things have gotten substantially worse. And the women talk about how they, like ever since Ukraine was invaded, no one thinks about Afghanistan. No one cares about Afghanistan. And we're just like really, really struggling here, completely lost hope alone. We, we kind of had a semblance of feeling like the international community was there for us before. Like that's almost gone now. And she interviews some incredible women who are still organizing like protests and women's get togethers on International Women's Day. Like the scenes from that documentary almost made me cry, to be honest. Um, and she also talks to women who there has been an absolute explosion in the rates of suicide among women in Afghanistan in the past year. Afghanistan is now one of the few countries in the world where the rates of suicide among women actually exceed that of men. And it is vastly underreported. Then it's al already what is reported is very high. That must be a drop in the bucket in comparison to what's actually happening because of the different levels of societies that don't want to actually report this. Like on so many different levels, there's a, there's a, a bias to not report it. So it absolutely horrific because all the shelters for women who experience domestic abuse have like been shut down. So women are just trying to kill themselves to escape their abusive marriage. They interviewed one woman who set herself on fire, like burns covering 80% of her body. She eventually died a month later. There was a woman that they interviewed who drank bleach because there was like no one that could help her. Her, her, her own family couldn't help her. Um, just absolutely, absolutely brutal. And also just people who they can't, you know, cope on so many different levels with what, what's happening around them. She also noted that when she went back that second time, all of a sudden, all the murals that they had up previously were now painted over with, you know, propaganda about how to dress properly. And it's just a video. It's, it's just a photo of the burqa, right? Um, so things are really, really dire. I'm not going to lie. Um, again, I have to commend the, the work of um, this British-Iranian journalist, uh, Ramita Navai, because 
basically every woman who there were women who were even willing to show their face on camera and they're like we have to do it because the only thing we have left is our voice that's the only thing left and um i don't know like the 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 power and courage of these individuals is honestly breathtaking um yeah armin what do you think about all this stuff that has been previously completely unreported it's crazy i don't know how somebody could be this brave like it's you know it's next level mm -hmm. um, what's interesting are... is this journalist she's was born in iran and so mm -hmm. she said that she could pass as afghan and so that helped her but she said that actually being a woman was to her benefit of her journalism because women yeah. are dismissed and overlooked to such a degree that she was essentially invisible that's what d was saying as well in the live chat that's, oh she's that saying read, read the quote of her saying being invisible helped maybe i can find the full quote um just a second um but yeah what do you think about this whole bride abduction thing um, but somebody was asking in the chat, isn't this like a, a theft according to Islam? I mean, yeah, this is like, I mean, I don't want to like. That's a good question, across, actually. Yeah, I mean, this is not Islamic even. Like, I know Islam is bad, but this is not allowed in Islam. Like, you kind of need like, you kind of need the permission of at least the parents. <laughs> you know, you can't just go willy nilly and take women. I mean, you can, but they have to be, it has to be in battle. And they can't be Muslim, right? Mm -hmm. So even if even if you're like taking women as slave Islamically, there you can't do it. You can't do that to Muslim women, especially when there's no war happening. So this is not this is as bad as Islam is. This is even worse than what Islam allows. So I don't know how how they're justifying this. Um, how do you think? Yeah, how how would you speculate that they justify it? I don't think they do. I think they just like we're in charge and these you know, we need well, yeah, I think war booty maybe. Like we just won mm. this war like yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, we're the victors. We're the spoils of war for us. Like maybe like that. You know, a lot of a lot of these people don't really bother trying to connect the dots with islamic um rulings like i mean this is the nature of you know this is how wars used to always be anyways um shake shaky b is that how you pronounce her name i think so yeah i think uh effing hell how come this is not getting world's attention oh it's afghanistan it's not like it's not like a european country that's why <laughs> unfortunately right. that actually is like what it comes down to yes i wish uh, i wish that wasn't true okay so some people are saying the video is restricted on you by youtube the video of this whole well that's okay because in the chat i just posted mm -hmm. a link to watch the full documentary you can find it on pbs.org let me pull it up here. that's also restricted for if you're not in the us which is why you need a vpn and we just happen to have a link to NordVPN, which is the I think the best VPN. So guys, make sure you use it. If you want to watch this documentary, use a VPN. And if you don't have a VPN, please use a link in the description because that helps us. Okay. We get something out of NordVPN if you use the link in the description to get a VPN. Okay. By the way, yeah, this is why you need to support the channel. Yeah. And you get to watch things that you could only be watched in like the US or other countries. Like I think like if outside of US, if you click on this link as well, it shows you that this video is not available, both on YouTube mm -hmm. and on their website. So get a VPN and uh, link in the description to our uh, VPN. Uh, yeah, I highly, highly, highly recommend watching this documentary. If you search like PBS Afghanistan Uncovered, I'm sure you could find it somewhere. Um, I, I actually genuinely really want people to go watch this. It's only one hour. Um, you can really dive into all the things we talked about just in more detail. And um, seeing people, their faces, hearing them say it, hear them, hearing the tone of the voice when they talk about these things, when it happens to them, I don't know. I think it's so important. I think it really 
humanizes the people who are going through these struggles because it's easy to say that is so far from my experience but i don't know it, i i just i really want people to see this i really want people to to see what's going on and so we can sympathize more and raise more awareness about the issue and don't let people forget about afghanistan i think that's what's really important right no man zero 41 is saying make a movie better yeah this this is like a plot for a really good movie actually mm -hmm. yeah Gaijin American saying this is giving me Gilead vibes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, Gilead was, I think, modeled after um, countries like this. Also, I don't appreciate this. Shaky B is saying, seriously, F men. Like, what the hell? Like, why are, why are we, why are all men being put in the same camp of, like, uh, Taliban? Like, because of Taliban, F all men? Like, I'm sure most men are better than the goddamn Taliban. This is like a... I don't appreciate this. Like, this Armin's like, like this is slanderous? This is libelous? Yeah. And I do not appreciate it. I do not appreciate it. Like, why are we... Like, because of... Like, because of Taliban, like, you're grouping all men to the same category as Taliban, F men because of Taliban? That's not... Yeah, not good. This is like... This is like sexist. It's very sexist. I don't appreciate mm -hmm. that. Oh, no, actually, you're right. No, please do F us. Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, okay. <laughs> no, no, don't. No, hey, Sharia, you don't say please, okay? That's the best way not to get F, okay? You demand it. You don't ask for it, okay? <laughs> if you ask for it, you're not going to get any. You have to demand it. That's how you get it. All right. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Yeah, you try it, okay? Like, if you go, like, if you go to your woman or your girl and like, hey, can we please have sex? You know, the likelihood of you getting sex is very low, okay? But if you go there and like, where, like, you know, you don't even need to say anything. You just make it happen, okay? And then it happens. <laughs> yeah. What? I'm, it's true. Sometimes I've like just I've just mentally given up trying to salvage. <laughs> Wait, like things you say. I'm saying the word. I don't want to have this is, conversation right now. Please, saying please is the biggest turnoff. I'm telling you, okay. Saying just try, okay. Go do an experiment. Say like, can we please have some sex, please? Thank you very much. Would you be? Would you be? Would you have some sex with me, please? Like, just try it and see how often you get laid. Okay, okay. If you if you don't believe me, go. Yeah, you're not gonna get laid. <laughs> Don't know what saying. Sorry, honey. Armin told me to. <laughs> no, don't say that. That's not gonna work as well. Uh... <laughs> He's like, what kind of relationships have you been in, Armin? <laughs> the dominant one. Uh, Armin, okay. I think a lot of people are gonna be like, you're just gonna, you're. This is assault. You're not asking for consent. This is why I'm. No, gonna... you. Okay, you idiots. I'm not talk. I'm not telling you to go do this without consent. I'm just saying, like, you make the conditions like sexy, and you go and you start kissing her. You know, you pull her hand. You make some jokes. You make her laugh. But you don't go and like, hey, please, let's have some sex. I'm not saying. I'm not saying to go do something against her consent. I'm just saying, like, also you're a little bit aggressive about it. But obviously, you're all looking for signals. If she's like, giving you some signals that she doesn't like it, you're not going to push for it. But you show some aggressions because that's a turn on. But you don't like, but you also have to be mindful of what is like what the other person is communicating through her body language. I'm not, I'm not telling you to push for it if you, the other person is not interested. I'm just saying the person will not be interested, would likely not be interested if you beg for it. That's your solid advice, I think. All right. <laughs> How did we get here? We were talking about Afghanistan. Because of you. Because of you. <laughs> and this is objectively true. What I'm saying is objectively true. You can come at me. Um, Army. Okay. <laughs> Guys, this is not misogyny. This is like, this is true. Okay, Susie, is that true? Susie, I don't want to, Armin. It, we, I don't want to talk about okay, this right now. Okay, then why are you highlighting Armin Tate if you don't want to talk about it? Like you're like you're teasing me to talk about it more. Like you're asking for it. <laughs> oh, I'm asking for it now. That's the language you're gonna use. I 
<laughs> <Wit. me. laughs> okay, no man is saying I will stick with begging man. Okay, good luck with that. Good luck with that. All right. All right. <laughs> oh my god. This is what <laughs> Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.